What's going on guys? Brian back with another episode of our State of Decay 2 new player graded walkthrough. And um, today the critical response pack dropped. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be way, way in the future. Um, I would have made a video like for you guys a lot sooner, but there really isn't any changes in the pack. Except they took out a close combat weapon and a uh, blunt weapon and they swapped it with the firefighter outfit. Well, all the guns are the same. There's no new guns added. There's no anything. Nothing's different. Um, the bounties may be a little different. I, I don't remember what they used to be. Um, but we do have the critical response pack back. And it has some of the best guns, I believe, in the game. So we are going to take advantage of that. And we're going to go and do some of these bounties. And uh, I reviewed the bounties right here. I'll, uh, I'll put that in there right now. So you can see about a boom. Back, but these guys don't want me to go talk to the damn bounty broker. What the hell is going on here? The new critical response pack was just released, so we're going to take some time, look over the bounties, and check out all these new guns. I have not even looked at this pack yet, but man, that was interesting. All right, so let's get into the new bounty pack. So this pack we've been waiting on for quite a while now. Um, this was one of the first bounty packs released um, back in the day. And uh, I want to see what the hell's new. Okay, so this is it. Critical response pack. When you're in head over your head, this pack delivers the help you need. So uh, the firefighter helmet and the firefighter turncoat. These are, um, we've seen these in the closet now for quite a while. Uh, we just haven't had access to them because obviously to unlock them, they were tied to a bounty. Um... Gun-wise, this gun was always a part of the pack. Yep, this one was always part of the pack. This was always part of the pack. This is a pretty good rifle, actually. It's a decent sniper rifle. has good range. Um, it's semi-automatic, and it uh, holds quite a bit of ammo. It holds 22 bullets, so it's not a bad gun. Um, yeah, the MP5 SD. This has always been one of the best suppressed guns in the game. Um... Let's see, the UMP, SMG, okay, same one, high angle rocket hatchet, and the M416. So what's different? Hmm? What? I don't get it. What's different? Did they just revamp the bounties? The guns look exactly the same to me. Well, let's grab our uh, <laughs> mayor's leg. From what I'm seeing here, guys, the bounty pack, I thought they added, like, new guns or something. Am I am I just confused? I, it's, I know they, it looks like they took stuff out for sure. There was more stuff than this that they, uh, you know, we had, like, a close combat weapon and the melee weapon there, the blunt weapon. And I think those got added into regular loot and then they added this so i think the only new content to the critical response pack is these two items and they might have revamped the bounties all right so um yeah let's go get some bounties done all right so now that you guys understand we're gonna go and um do these bounties so we got to kill what? I killed two freaks already. There was a juggernaut in the road when I got back, and there was a feral um, that got shot somewhere over here, too. Um, so, yeah, we already got two out of our 14 freaks. We need to destroy three plague hearts and uh, kill 65 zombies with blades. So, that's going to be interesting. Now, we are at the point with our community here where we can, we can do bounties. You know what I mean? We have enough resources, ammo. Things like that to kind of really just do whatever we want. Um, so we're going to start with these play cards up here. Now it is nighttime, so... Gotta be a little cautious. But we're going to mainly uh, try to overlap these bounties as best as possible. That's a, that's one thing about bounties, too, is if you could find bounties that you could do... Kill two birds with one stone, as uh, some people would like to say, it, it's, it's always best. 
So me knowing, all right, I got to kill three play cards. Um, generally, a play cards, once you get higher standing, start spawning ferals in between phases. So I'm like, okay, well, there's a good chance I might get some ferals while I'm fighting these play cards. And obviously, the play cards are going to call in zombies, which are going to allow me to kill them with the, you know, so. We should be able to complete all of these bounties within these three play cards, hopefully. I should be careful of plague zombies around here. If it's too crazy, though, I might have to burn uh, some of said zombies. <clears throat> oh, right, Sways. Whoa, that dude moved super fast. Hmm. I'm running 5.56 because uh, I had a bunch of extra ammo in the truck. Or in the, yeah, my, my base, so I figured why not. Uh, I have been running the 10.22 lately. Oh, it's so dark outside. And doing this might max out our uh, sword play. What is our sword play at? Four stars. Can we get four stars killing 65 plus zombies? Up oh, there. There we go. There's one already. And we just got a powerhouse star. Right, let's go spawn up the zombies in the house. Oh, we got these guys in the front. Never mind. Hold on. Save the 556. 556 is the more expensive round to craft, so. I can't keep this up. Can I use the damn stem? I didn't want to. For uh, energy drink. Get these guys to come outside. Some... Wow. One Willie Pete, guys. Uh, Willie Pete's back. It's it's uh, on par with bloater grenades in uh, this difficulty. Holy crap. Uh, now, white phosphorus grenades are hard to find. You can't craft them. They're very, very rare throwables. Um, you can get them in the rare weapon cases. You can get them in... Um, we got them out of that Cleo drop this place seems safe for now. at the base. So it said we just destroyed a plague heart, right? But it didn't count towards our bounty. Hmm. What's going on there, guys? That's Vid. I'm carrying a bit much right now. It's a bit weird. We're gonna try, uh, I guess maybe we'll try to kill it with a another uh, method. It didn't specify a method on the bounty. It literally just says kill play cards. So. I wish I had room for that. <clears throat> A 
But sometimes um, when Undead Labs releases the bounty packs, um, the sometimes a couple of the bounties might be a little wonky and not work 100%. But they're really, really quick. So by the time you guys are seeing this, if the play cart bounty is broken, you'll be, it'll be fixed. But maybe it just didn't like my white phosphorus. So we'll go try a different method. So we're not going to hit this one with a, uh, will it Pete? We're going to clear out those surrounding areas, try to get some more zombie kills with blades. And then, um, oh, double horde. Chopping up the sways. Chopping up the sways. A pretty bad this ain't a bad bounty the only thing is we're probably at the repair a weapon before we kill 65 maybe as long as that plague heart is nearby we can't really secure this place ton of machetes not it's a good weapon it's just not very durable Uh, but this is pretty much what bounty hunting is. I know we haven't gone over it too much in this uh, playthrough. But yeah, you go to the man. He'll tell you what he wants. And then you, uh, you hook him up. Do the bounties. Once you complete them, you go back to him. And then uh, collect your reward. Something's still lurking around. I'm still confused on what all the hype was about the critical response bug. Because, like I said, guys, it's the same. It's not different. They just took a couple things out. <laughs> and added the firefighter outfit. I don't know. Maybe it's just something I'm not seeing. You guys let me know in the comments. But from what I can see, it looks exactly the damn same. There it is. So this one we're going to uh, drop a flare. Oh, 
that one shot it? Okay, well that one counted. I didn't expect the bloater gas to one shot it. Okay, well for some reason Willie Pete's guys are not registering um play cart kills. I don't know if it was just a fluke. That's a lot of stuff. I don't know. Do I have an outpost in this area? We could use one. Got one down here. So we still gotta kill freaks. Those are not plentiful right now. Wonder if I can off-road my way to the uh, outpost this way. Let's see. This vehicle's really good at off-roading, so. Oh, look at that. Another freak kill. Yeah, these are these bounties are pretty easy. Um, they're not very specified. Like, just getting fourteen freak kills is not bad. You just gotta kill them however. Kill them with your car. Kill them with a gun. Kill them with a weapon. It, it doesn't matter. All right, so it's a drop off a lot of this stuff. I'm not using the Willy Pete's because I, I don't. Right now they they seem like they're not working, so we'll just stick with the bloater gas. Um, we're gonna bring some firecrackers so to ignite the bloater gas. Our plague cures. We'll drop that in the trunk, and. We don't need extra of those. All right. I think we're good. Let me empty out my trunk. I want to head back over to that play cart really quick. And uh, grab the rest of those supplies. I'm actually going to swap over to uh, Stims. Cause we have we have a good amount of them. I can craft energy drinks now myself, but we're up to twenty one stems, so no point in holding out. And we're one star away from maxing out the powerhouse skill, which then I'll be able to show you guys my favorite part of the powerhouse skill. I think we gotta go this way. Let's see, let's see. Uh yeah, I'll we'll just take all this stuff. Okay, so our next Plague Heart target will be this guy. Um, I guess we'll swing by our outpost one more time on our way down there. We do want to take care of that infestation also, so maybe I'll actually go hit this outpost, hit the infestation, and then swing down to the Plague Heart. I like that idea a little better. Oh, hold on. I heard you, Ms. Oh, Bill Goldberg. That's what happens when you got bad aim. Oh, we can kill the rest of these sways, though. How sway did you grab me in the middle of a... That doesn't matter. How sway? I'm not able to do that. I'm 
just about out of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was my outpost? Ah, uh, yeah, it's down past this base. Now, because we completed some of these bounties, I believe we're gonna get a little additional influence while completing them. Yeah, well, uh, a way a lot of the people on the, the old internet were talking about the critical response pack was like it was um, getting a whole bunch of new weapons or something. You know what I mean? I don't know if the devs painted it like that, too. I, I don't really recall. Let me grab a little bit of extra. Five, five, six. The infestations down in that warehouse in that town. Yeah, I always like to take out my infestations ASAP. Because b before you know it, they start spreading around, and then you got then you got three or four infestations, and it's just it's a headache. Okay. Need that freak kill anyways. Could just burn them all, but we need these blade weapon kills. I'm gonna shoot the screamer. Kill the rest. Two more stars. I hear some of them close by. All right, we're almost there, guys. Only nine more kills, and we will unlock the high angle rescue hatchet. Really, really good bladed weapon. Um, there it is. Almost missed my turn. Like I said, I'm just keeping my eyes open for any, um, like, screamers or anything. Loaders. Screamers. Well, we'll just park up. Oh, I heard a screamer. But there he is. Weapons breaking out. I should have repaired it. I, I literally just said earlier that the weapon was going to start to break down and I didn't repair it. I don't think I have an outpost in this. Uh, we got one up the road, but let's kill this play cart first. It should at least last the rest of the play cart, but that's the only downside to this weapon is it's just not very durable. Uh, 
but it should have enough left in it for us to get our last uh, few kills. Oh, no spawns. That's weird. Fire in the hole. So wait for the sound making device to finish making sound. If there was zombies in the area, it would call them to it, so... That, grab that. That's almost as much as I can carry. Got so much stuff in my damn inventory, I don't have enough space to grab anything. I have to slow down. Alright, so that's two play cards. Um, we'll go hit an outpost and we'll be able to probably clear up the last one. Uh, and get our weapon kills. Blade weapon kills. No, we gotta be pretty much right there. Yeah, we're almost there for max powerhouse. There it is! Alright guys, so now I'll be able to show you guys why I love max powerhouse so much okay, I'm coming to meet you. let's go talk to these guys really quick I know I'm bounty focused right now but we also don't want to be messing up relations with our I'll be there with you before you know it I guess I'm gonna owe you one yeah, and those guys want like freaking uh oh they want me to give them a hand with a play cart I plan on killing one anyways. Come on. Oh, there, sway. I didn't expect the most. My finger just didn't work. Um, but it's just a regular bloater, so we're just gonna tank it. Um, with bloaters, you can honestly just use healing items while you're in your car, and um, to combat the smoke effect. And as you guys can see, you can just kind of tank it. That'd be really, really low health. You don't have to risk it. But if you're in a situation where you're like, I don't want to get out of my car right now, um, you can just stay in your car and keep driving, as long as it's not a plague bloater. Plague bloaters, that's a different question. So, max powerhouse. Why is it so good? Um, you can grab zombies from the front without having to ex... You can literally just grab them. And uh, throw them and stuff. So you guys know I like to grab and throw. But with max powerhouse, you can literally just grab the zombies right from the front. It's super useful, guys. On top of everything else Powerhouse does. Three more zombie kills. Actually, let's get those right now. That way I can just get rid of this survivor. Let her go home and rest up. She's got a little banged up. One more star and sword play. We'll be able to get that. Alright, I don't see a zombie. We need just one zombie. Uno. Uno mas.
There you are. Thank you, Sway. Alright, let's go uh, swap our equipment over here at the outpost. But um, the reason why I, that bloater hit me was because I was like, oh, wait, do I still get credit for the freak kill if he trips himself? Uh, so I hesitated for a second, and then uh, obviously he exploded on my car, so... <laughs> And uh, I'll just repair this. Got over a thousand freaking parts. We're doing, we're doing well. We're doing okay. And uh, who do we want to bring out? He could definitely use some skilling up. Oh, wait, he's still got a little bit of blood plague. We were just using him, weren't we? Yeah, I believe we were. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, swap over to... Could be, well, Shandy. I want to level somebody up who's not very... There we go. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get both of those people put into the infirmary. Everybody else is good. Where's my 1022? Where's my baby at? There it is. Trying to top off all my weapons. There we go. Grab those, grab those, and we're going to swap this for a heavy. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because we're just going to pl bloater gas these uh, play cards. Well, I should actually just full phase at least one to see if I can get some ferals to show up. Um, that way we can help add to our. Uh, Freak kills. So, yeah, maybe we will go with a heavy weapon. So what generally happens, what I mean by that, is in between phases, um, like when a play cart does its little poomph, the, uh, it spits out all the gas and makes all the noise. Um, as you, Feral, you'll usually get a feral in between phases. And uh, that's our goal here is to try to get a feral... Now, generally, your goal is to not get a feral, but uh, in this case, we kind of need them, so. All right, so we'll start with this one, and this should be our last play card that we need. Then we're just going to be hunting freaks. Now, oh, there, there's a feral. I'm going to drag this guy up here. That's why I love this trail beast too. It's so good on gas. Now, um, as I was saying, some bounties are a lot easier to do, guys, on higher difficulties. Like things that kill 14 freaks. You'd probably be able to do that in like a couple minutes on lethal zone. Difficulty, like full lethal. Because like there's just so many freaks everywhere. There's freaking bloaters and screamers just everywhere. Be Whereas you can see here on this difficulty. Right oh man. Mad at me. Oh, I didn't I didn't do that other mission. 
Uh, we'll hit it right after this play cart. Squish, squish, squish. All right, so we only need four more freak kills too. That's not bad. You never do get used to the snow. Plus, this is a hard one to blow her out and gas, anyways. Oh, there. Take it outside, guys. Let's take it outside. Now this, the uh, only reason why I'm, you see me actually swinging this heavy weapon is because I popped the stim. And um, that's the only reason why I'm able to swing this even remotely effective with such a fresh character. But uh, this, without that stim would just be burning my uh, stamina just into the ground. There is a juggernaut there, though, and we are going to take care of him. Let me uh, kill out, kill his entourage. Shot. Better shot. Yeah, we're whiffing a lot of these heavy weapon swings. Come on, guys. My juggernaut's getting away. There's no easiest way to kill juggernauts. Not easy for your car, though. Definitely dangerous. Mr. Juggernaut is down. Don't see any more freaks in the horizon. Actually, quite a few plague zombies that showed up. And so no feral, just a lot of zombies. So we didn't get a feral. Kind of stinks. Damn 
So a technique that I'm going to show you guys right now that you um, that you can use when it comes to like having a shit ton of zombies around you. Now you want to bunch them all up so you can hit them with fire. Uh, right now, if I, you know you try to molotov them, while they're all spread out. It doesn't work out very well. So what I do is you can just keep dodging through the zombies like back and forth. And you guys probably see me do this in some of my other uh, playthroughs where I just have like a lot of zombies around me. But uh, yeah, you just keep dodging through them like this until you get them all nice and bunched up. And then just throw the fire. And then you'll get them all for the most part. But as long as you got some kind of stamina going and you, you know, keeping your, and you're dodging, you know, repeatedly, you know, spam dodge through the group. Um, as long as you don't let up on your dodges, you, you won't get hit really. I mean, you will get hit sometimes here and there, but. Okay, so no feral, which kind of sucks, but. Okay. Three more freaks. That, that, that. All right. All right. Um, I'm gonna drop that in there. Let's go grab that last weapon. It's clear, but I can't really secure this place. Or was it a backpack? Backpack and a weapon. Not a problem. So we have a uh, attack coming on our base. We can head back there. On our way back, we'll hit these guys. Now the reason it's 200 influence. <laughs> I know I said this episode too would be recruiting somebody so we can move into that fire station, uh, but with the critical response back coming out, kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of bounty hunting. Like I said, there's not not much new to the pack, so I'm not gonna really invest too much time into it. I figured just, you know, me just showing you guys these couple of bounties and that would be suffice. But obviously, I'm on my lookout right now for a couple more freaks while we're driving back. And we are here. Could really use more friends. Well, do we have any? Oh, we got a couple. I can sell these backpacks to them. Where's backpack? Hey, doors open. Can I spare some food? Hmm. I got this food right on my back. I'm sure you'll be fine, hun. Yeah, hey, she is a gardener. So much. Sure thing. That's 200 influence, so thank you. Oh, you I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, they don't even have influence. Are you serious? You guys are worthless, man. Everything okay here? Oh wait, I think these might be the guys. That they're going to keep asking me for stuff, but eventually I can recruit the whole entire group. That may be a thing, guys. Let's get this crap back to base, defend the siege. 
Maybe get a freak or two in the process, like a screamer or something. Oh, another juggernaut. There it is, boys. That is the easiest way to kill juggernauts in the state of decay 2. Damn, dude. All right. Base seeds time. All that driving, guys. And that's how much fuel we still have left. We have a truckload of zombies coming in. Gotta love this Jeep. Oh, we're out of med storage. How many meds do we got? Yeah, we're over a little bit. Let's craft a uh, plague here. So we don't need to kill any more plague hearts. We see some freaks. We've got feds trying to take our base apart. Two more freaks, guys. Two more. That's all we need. Let's burn these motherfuckers down. Let me get rid of this heavy weapon. There it is. Monsieur Bloater. Any more? One more. We just need one more, guys. <laughs> All right. Really despise these striking um, executions. There's the golf club swing, which is amazing, and then all the rest are actual trash tier. Got we got quite a few zombies actually still coming through the back. We need one more zombie freak. And the map's just going to be silent, isn't it? One. Just get like a screamer. It's going to be like that. Watch, guys. <laughs> Let's uh, refuel our Jeep. We'll head over to the Bounty Broker. On our way, there's no reason why we won't get a freak. It's impossible, right? We're going to waste a little bit of this gas can, but it's all good. Oh, let me grab better stamina items. What am I doing? We don't have to use snacks no more. Yeah, 
I can craft myself some energy drinks. Now, our food is actually going down. Hmm. Might have to get another food outpost. Uh. I was trying to save for getting one down, like, in this area. Yeah, but this area is covered by so many plague hearts. But we could definitely use another food outpost. And I think I might go with... I thought there was one area over here somewhere. That one actually counts as a food outpost. That's not a bad location either. It's in between both of these cities. We don't really have anything down in that area. So why not? Oh, wrong car. One more freak. I thought of something that might help. On what new weapon supply drop, dude? Is the game trying to get me to use DLC right now? Like what? I said it was impossible to not see a freak, but yet the game is like, hold my beer. No. It's so bright. Is that a feral? No. So desperate for a freak zombie. I'm, I'm hearing things. Mr. Screamer, thank you for your service. That's it. That is all of our bounties complete. Greetings. Do come in. Good chance those dudes might come over here, but I don't know. So, Hello, my friend. Sure the three weapons I went for right off the bat were I got the um MP5 SD, this gun is integrated, it has a suppressor built into it, and it has a sight. Um, really, really good weapon. Really good weapon. So I got that. I got the high angle rescue hatchet, which is one of the best bladed weapons in the game by far. And then I got this um, SWAT 416. It's a pretty good uh, rifle. I believe the only, the only thing about it that I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, wait, did they add a sight to it? No, maybe maybe I always had a sight. I don't know. Not 100%. I thought this gun didn't have a sight, but it has one now. So, they might have always had it. Also, I don't really remember. Um, but it's a pretty damn good gun. Um, uses 5.56. And then, like I said, this is the high angle, rescue re high angle rescue hatchet. It is really good. Bladed weapon. Very, very durable. So, yeah, those are the weapons that I got my hands on. And this is the uh, suppressed MP5. Also with a scope on it. That's actually got some decent range. 
And you never have to put, you don't have to put a suppressor on it, you don't have to do anything. It's just built in, suppressed. Those are some of my uh, favorite weapons in this pack. Right, let's go grab this food outpost really quick, and that will be episode. We're going to upgrade it to a level 2 also. Follow the railroad. Military containers lootable? Holy shit, that is. There's a fuel location up here that I never knew about. And, um... A location with a whole bunch of, uh... Spilled containers. Now, these are the containers that you find in, like, military bases. And stuff, so I don't know what this... This might have some goodies in it. Yeah. Oh, man, that was crazy. I can't believe how good that was. Waste my damn time. <laughs> so you can follow the railroad tracks or you can follow the river and Providence Ridge. They're both pretty viable. Options actually think at this point it's better just drop down to the river. I don't know if we can make it through there A zombie was swimming But this is like right on the edge of plague territory. Yeah, plague territory. They're right there at that corner. Yeah, I like this place. I can use this. Okay. Work's done and this outpost is ready for use. Hey, get that baby upgraded. While we're here, we'll just grab the rest of this loot. You know, maybe the zombie apocalypse, dude. I got a lot of questions. All right, so let's see what does that do for our food. So now we're only losing two food a day. Um, and I could technically upgrade them all one more time, but it's like I told you guys before, it's not worth it. The level three cost is just too too much, and there's just no benefit, really. So, all right, well we're gonna head back to base. And uh, I think that was a pretty successful episode. Um, our next goal is probably going to be pushing um, these hearts. Clear all those out. That should be really, really easy with our bloater gas and willy peats. And uh, then we're going to claim that base.
Now the good thing is where we live is right off of this river. We can just follow us all the way up. So, that is a little bit of bounty hunting, uh, a little peek into the critical response pack. Um, a lot of you guys who are new to the game, it was like one of the first bounty packs that ever was released. I think the World War II pack came out, and then that was like the first pack with actual bounties, because the World War II pack used to not have bounties. Um, I forgot how to help. Maybe it did. I don't remember. I don't think they had bounties, though. I, thought, I think you just went up to them and just bought the guns. But I don't really remember how that shit worked. Um, but what I'm saying is, uh, for those of you guys who are new, this is the first time Critical Response Pack has been around for a little bit. So make sure you guys go check it out. It does have some pretty good weapons in it. Um, but for existing people, it is there's not a whole lot of new need anything while I'm out risking my life? to the Critical Response Pack. So I wouldn't really... Uh, it's not something that you just need to run home and hurry up and like get on because you know you want to get it's it from what I've seen it's the same weapons um, as the old pack so yeah but everybody thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this and if you guys haven't already hit that thumbs up it really really helps if you guys are new to the channel and want to see some more state of k2 content please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.